This is the first example in a three-part tutorial on find text and replace it with a hyperlink in Google Apps Scripts using the document app class. Before we get started, if you want to play along, there is a copy of this Google Doc in the tutorial link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. So our first example, we want to find text and replace it with a single link. This is where there's no other text in this paragraph or this uh, line of text here. So over to our Google Apps Scripts IDE and we will create a function and we will call it single link. Oh, there we go. Cool. And enter. So the first thing we need to do is add in some inputs. So these could be drawn from anywhere naturally or this single link function could have some parameters that you might want to draw into this function. But for now, let's keep it simple and let's just label this with inputs. Let's keep it clear and we'll say const text. So this is the text we want to add in to replace this single link one in the text here. So const text, and we'll call this my URL. And then we want the URL, so we'll say const. So our URL variable will be, let's make it a shameless plug, http colon forward slash forward slash yagi san at today.com. And then our last variable is going to be the text we need to find, which is this single link here. So we'll go const and we'll say text to find to make it very clear equals and let's just make sure we don't make a mistake and first things we'll add in our quotation marks and we'll select this copy then control shift V over and colon all right let's just close off this little space just to make it look easy to read. Cool. So the first thing we need to do is to get into the document app class and then uh, get the active document, which is going to be this one, or you could get the document by the ID. Let's just keep it simple. So we'll use get active document and then we want to grab the entire body. So let's do that. So we'll call const body equals document, this one here, document app. And then we want get active document, which is the one we've got running here. And that's connected to this Google Sheet. And we just want to grab the body. So we'll say get body. So we'll use the get body method here, which grabs all the data in the body that we can now call other methods on uh, to extract it. So there we go. And enter. Okay, let's move this across a little bit so it all fits in. There we go, it looks better now. Cool. So what we can do to find this single link text and replace it with our my URL and our actual URL link is we can use so some chaining of some document app methods. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the body. So we'll call the body now that we've got it in our cons variable. And we want to find the text. So we'll go dot find text and we can use the find text method here and inside the find text method we just want this text to find so text to find okay looks like we've caught that no worries okay so let's just make it nice and neat and put it on the next line and line up our dots and now that we've found it we want to grab the element so the element is this text element here so we'll say get element and you can see we've got this right here and we use the get element element and we use the get element method here not the get elephant method although that would be fun and then to manipulate it we want we can use as text and this allows us to perform some rich text formatting on this element so as text and now we can set the new text. So we say set text. And then we just type in our text. 
just like that. And lastly, we want to add our URL to this element as well. So we can go on a new line. We can use the set link URL. And this can take two different types of inputs. One is just a single URL or two has a start and end point and the URL. We'll keep it simple for this one. We'll just add in the URL because that's all we need. And let's close that off. And if I haven't made any mistakes, I'll hit save. And just have a look at the Google Doc when I run it. And I'll hit run. And you can see that now the the reference item, this text define has changed to my URL with our link to my website. Awesome. Okay. In the next video tutorial, we are going to add a URL inside a bunch of other text. If you want to find out some more details about this particular code or the other three examples, you can check out the link to the tutorial on my website below. Until next time.